Tony Schiavone interviews Andrade and Pac. And my, there I go, my computer froze. But here it is now. So Andrade explains that he has friends all around the world. Tonight he's going to win easily. And Pac says last time they met, Andrade was the one who introduced tasers and iPads and dodgy assistants and dodgy managers. Tonight you will see revenge for the death triangle. Maybe you'll stop obsessing about us. And then Tony Schiavone ends, as Mark Henry would say, the talking is done. It's time for the main event. Yeah, where's Mark Henry? They never said why, where he was. Dude, you can't pre-tape this and get this poor guy on here? We'll talk about pre-tapes later, by the way. Did he get slapped on the wrist for his comments on... No, because he was there last time. Okay. Pac versus Andrade Alidolo. What a great match. And, and of the two, and God bless Andrade, but Pac is so ridiculously good. Mm-hmm. Like everything he does makes you say, wow, every, every over and over and over and over again. Oh, he was on the Jericho cruise. There you go. Hmm. So I'm watching Pac. I'm thinking, why is this guy not the champion in literally every promotion he works in around the world? And I thought about it for a few seconds and realized, you know what? There's a, a lot of really good pro wrestlers out there right now. So I can't complain that much. But this match was beautiful. <laughs> really, both guys. Um,. Andrade goes up to the top rope and he gets crotched in the corner. The best crotch in the corner ever. He hits the he hits the ropes like sitting, like he's gonna do split like moonsault. Only instead of flipping over, he bounces about eight feet back up in the air. And then when he lands, Pat grabs him as an avalanche brain buster. And there's this great series of counters and reversals. And finally Pat grabs a small package and he he wins. Oh, it was much better than that, Vinny. The whole end of the match was all about Andrade going for his hammerlock DDT over and over and over again. Every time he goes for the hammerlock, it gets countered. Every time he goes for the hammerlock, it gets countered. He finally hits his big series of moves. He grabs that hammerlock. And in a hammerlock position, Pac does a one-arm small package. He pins the man as he is being hammerlocked. This was the best fucking finish I ever saw. And it was a cradle. After all of the... Normally you see a match that's like, everyone's doing all these big crazy moves, and then it finishes a cradle, and you think, fuck, you did a top rope fucking brain buster, and your finish is a cradle? But the way that they worked the match, and the cradle being a counter for the guy's finish, while he's halfway being finished, I thought this was the best fucking finish in I don't even know how long. I watched it over and over again. A fucking small package while one of your arms is being hammerlocked. It was awesome. Really good match. There was a point. um, Pac was, he was half outside of the ring and, and Andrade went to drop a leg on him. But he, Pac moved and he bounced off the bottom rope and the apron and then tumbled backwards yes. onto his head on the floor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My goodness, that, yeah. was, that was terrifying. Uh, it was a good match. There was only one. My only, only criticism. No. Criticism. No, no, no there was one. Brian, hit mute. There was one. And it was something <laughs> yeah. Brian. I feel like I have one, too, so I want to hear if he's right, got the same right, one. So Brian, Brian might have brought this up, like, a couple weeks ago. But Andrade gets ahead of steam. Yes. He Craig's the- absolutely right. He hits the corner post on his own. He throws himself into the corner and then runs. And then I think he does the double knees. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Not one and a half minutes later. Absolutely. It was less than that, Craig. It was less than 30 seconds later because I thought the same thing. Because Pac took over and he throws Andrade into the corner. He bounces off the corner and sells his back. It's worse, Craig. It's actually worse than you explained. He runs and he hits the buckle and then he runs the other way and hits the double knees, okay? Right. And I'm thinking, I fucking hate that. Because now yep. this guy's going to take a corner and he's going to sell it. Not only did that happen 30 seconds later, but it was the heat! Yes. <laughs> That's how they got the fucking heat. They whipped him into the corner, not 30 seconds after he ran as fast as he fucking could into the corner. So, yes, I agree with Craig 100% here. Yes. That was, uh, but other than that. Yeah, it was the only complaint I had. And the only other, this is not really a complaint, it was just funny, but uh, Andrade does a springboard Pescado into a DDT on the apron on Pac, and they both tumble to the floor, and every one of the announcers goes, I don't know who got the worst of that. Did you see? And then one of them goes, I think Andrade. 
And granted, Andrade did not take a comfortable looking uh, did bump. Did you see Andrade fall? But the point is, he did a pescado into a DDT, driving I, the man's head into I the fucking this. apron, and they both fell down. I realized that, but it did not look good for Andrade. No, he took a bad landing too, yes. but I thought that was funny. Okay. Pac is so, so talented. That that thing where he runs on the apron, jumps and catches the guy in the head scissors, it's just flawless. It's just it's beautiful to watch. He's so good. Hey, listen. Yeah, we bitched about a couple of things here, but this was this was one of the best matches like ever in in uh, for sure in obviously Rampage history. Yeah, sure. But I mean, this was one of the better matches in Dynamite history. It was awesome. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.